certainly to answer the question on friendship. I mm-hmm. mean, that's where my heart gets burdened is when people start thinking, wow, I, I can't be friends with this person. Yeah. I think no matter how uh, you know debauched somebody gets, uh, we need to remember to love people. I mean, like think about those who doubt. Jude says, be merciful to those who doubt. For one example, I love the story in John chapter 8. You know, he who is without sin casts the first stone. And so there's something about Jesus that people want to be around him, the drunkards, uh, the prostitutes, the immoral. And I love that about Jesus because a lot of times when you think of, uh, you know, people's view of Christianity, you don't get them, you don't get the idea that, you know, they would think that, oh yeah, Jesus would be a lot of fun to be around. A lot of the pictures and paintings we see of Jesus, he looks really bored, he looks somber, uh, he looks effeminate. Uh, they have all these types of pictures that that come out, and I go, I think he was joyful, I think he was the life of the party, and there was something about him that he could be around people that uh, he didn't agree with, and they loved him, and he didn't compromise. And so I think that's the key. We we don't compromise on our own values. We don't compromise on truth. Yet we still love people in such a way that, wow, they, they feel the, a warmth from us. Mm-hmm. I do think there's seasons to put boundaries up at times, mm-hmm. but not because somebody gets a tattoo that we don't agree with. Mm-hmm. So I would just say we have to learn to choose our battles better. Yeah. 